Hello, broader internet family. My name is Caitlin, aka Kate Meissner. I am a poet and teacher and other sorts of things in Brooklyn, but that's not very important. What I really want to tell you about is that I started this project called the Little Ripple Project just a few days ago, and it was born out of an email I sent to a number of people in my artistic community with just an exploration of my own struggle with change and activism through my art and, and what that looks like. And it was a really vulnerable email and I got beautiful, beautiful responses to it and decided they needed to be shared with the world. Therefore, I created this blog to share them. However, some of the feedback I've gotten is that the email is too long to read. I know. I can write. So, I decided that maybe I would make a little YouTube video of me reading the letter for those of you who don't really like to read and maybe would connect to it uh, better if it's spoken. So, here it is. I hope you respond to the thoughts in the letter and send them in to me at Caitlin Meissner. No, Caitlin.Meissner at gmail.com. You can see it on the website. I'll repeat this. So in this vision, the act of creating, of asking questions, of moving a human spirit is inherently active and political, even when the subject is not about Obama's plan of action with Gaza. I read this entry to Gen B just to make sure my thoughts aren't completely, you know, yawn-inducing and self-indulgent. And she pauses. I hate to bring it back to this always, she says with a knowing grin. But John Lennon's whole War is Over campaign came about when he realized he'd just been writing songs about love and Yoko. But that voice was inherently political and important in and of itself. And I grin back. Because I love Jen B and her examples a whole lot, but also because she's right. How many times have I been stuck emotionally and connected to that one poem or song that carried me through a trying experience? On a personal level, this artist creation was more important to my own journey of working to positively affect the world than, say, Malcolm X. Now that's a bold statement, if there ever was one. I know this. And by no means am I dwarfing or scoffing at the incredible magnitude of this leader's work or the inspiration he's stilled in millions of people around the world, and me for that matter. But understand what I'm saying. That one piece of art helped you live. Not change the world, not volunteer at a soup kitchen, but pulled you out of bed for another day of just putting one foot in front of the other. That small piece of joy allowed you to be more open, to be more free, to understand that your place in the world is indeed important. And from there you were able to sing again, to laugh again, to gain perspective and turn that perspective into something productive, challenging, something that puts said joy into something bigger and beyond yourself. It's that little ripple in Brooklyn causing waves in India. The inauguration is coming. I'm not going. I have to work on Tuesday and my body is still rife with germs. But even if it wasn't, would I go? Probably not. The thought of being in Woodstock 2009 DC style is enough to make my skin crawl. Am I conflicted about missing such a historic event? Of course. But I'm not convinced this move makes or breaks the trajectory of the rest of my life as a caring, contributing citizen. What I propose instead to all of us, inauguration bound or not, is to live honestly this year. To create honestly. To activate and change and grow with integrity. Turn your skin inside out and be yourself with or without flash, with or without judgment, with or without the troops rallying behind you. That's all we can really ask of one another at the end of the day. But somehow, it ends up being the most difficult task to fulfill. So I'll leave you here. What is your truth? Write it down. Tell it to your best friend. Put it on a blog or in an email or a song or a designer or whatever you do to do you. And then send it to me. I'm gathering stories. Thanks for watching this. Send me your stories. Please, your thoughts and response to this. The world wants to hear them. LittleRipple.wordpress.com Everything is there. Little Ripple. WordPress.com. Happy 09. Obama's in office. What can I do for you back in this bitch? Not a damn thing. I keep my campaign popping like a shit. You know how they pull myself over here during the test?
shout out to my man Dave.